back with us. Um, let's just start off then with, with that piece of analysis. What do you think will happen with Russian energy from here on in and what impact will it have on the Eurozone? Well, first of all, we need to distinguish between two things, what is likely and what is in economic terms a worst case scenario. What is likely is that the EU will tighten sanctions on Russia, that it will shortly announce, probably sometime after the French election, an embargo on oil imports from Russia, but an embargo that will likely be phased in over time, that is, probably over the remainder of this year. In that case, it would not hurt European economies much. Also, Europe will continue its attempts to wean itself of Russian natural gas, but only in stages, and will probably continue to import some Russian natural gas until 2024. Now, that's what seems likely at the moment. What would happen if instead the EU were to impose a full embargo on Russian energy supplies immediately, that is including natural gas, the likely result would be a temporary recession. Having said that, how bad it would be, whether, for instance, EU GDP would be one, two or three percentage points lower next year than without such an embargo, depends on the way it's done. If it's done in an intelligent way, that is not across the board cuts for industry, but cuts for those industries that are energy intensive and do not produce crucial inputs for other parts of production, then the damage could be at the lower end of these estimates. Uh, uh, Juliana was talking about uh, how Germany has prepared a plan for rationing for some sectors of the economy. As uh, market participants, do we need to begin modelling which sectors are likely to, to do better and which to do worse in such a scenario? It is, of course, interesting for markets to think about that. However, the German plans are not yet advanced enough to really say what the impact would be. At the moment, we are not facing an embargo on natural gas. So it is not yet clear how the political priorities would be set. My guess is that it would not be sort of quite industry by industry, but that it would be more granular. That is, that the cuts would mostly hurt those places of production that do not produce key inputs for other sectors. You might, for instance, say that the car sector, well, we all, most of us do have cars. And if we have to wait a little longer for a new car, it wouldn't hurt us too much. You may, for instance, say that the car sector may be more affected than some base chemicals, which are input into many other sectors of production. But these decisions have not really been taken. They are being prepared. Uh, Holger, that's Germany, and we know that they do have this emergency plan. As you said, they haven't fleshed out the detail yet on what that rationing would look like. But do other countries in Europe have similar um, emergency plans that they would enact? Should we see uh, all of Russian energy banned? It, would we see a similar type of rationing across the Eurozone? Well, it would be country by country. Other countries are thinking about it, but because other countries, or many of them, are less exposed than Germany and less industry dependent than Germany. I suppose that in other countries, the discussion is not quite as advanced yet as it is in Germany, but there are discussions about that across Europe. Once again, the immediate stop of natural gas imports from Russia, which politically may actually be advisable because it would hurt Russia, on, in the discussion in the EU does not yet seem to be imminent. And Holger, how would um, the UK economy fare versus the Eurozone if we were to see uh, the UK and the EU target Russian energy in this way? The UK is part of Europe, but it's less exposed to energy imports from Russia than the EU average. Hence, the damage in the UK would be somewhat smaller than it would be in the EU and significantly smaller than it would be in uh, Germany. The US probably would not have any significant impact on it. It would notice it a bit with some extra pressure on energy prices as a result. For instance, if Europe scrambles even more to buy liquid natural gas, that would have some impact on US prices. But all in all, the US would not be affected very much.